Hey guys, this is Jack's Photoshop Tots and today I'm going to show you how to make this thing. Now, I have made a second attempt on this and it turned out quite a lot better than the first one. So, here's the second one. Now you'll notice a big difference in this. Now, this is quite hard. Not that too, not that hard, not that easy. So, let's get started. First you want to open up Photoshop, so I've already done that to save time, mine takes ages. So next you want to click File, New, now you want to make it 800 by, oh 800 by 600. Okay. Let me just check. Oh, got that right. Yeah, that's fine. Um. So now you want to make sure that your background's fill in black. New layer. Fill. And fill that in black. Oops, wrong button. X. Fill that in black. Okay. Now you want to go to filter. I believe it is render and now lens flare. Excuse me for my slow computer. Okay. So now you want to set this to the middle and doing that you want to hold alt and then click on the picture. Now you want to set the X to 400, the Y to 300, hit OK, then hit OK again. Now you should get a perfectly centered lens flare and now you want to hit Control T and shrink that down. I want it fairly big. Now apply the transform, move it into the middle and duplicate it. Now with this duplicated copy you want to do the same Control T but you want to turn it vertical. That's not vertical. Okay. So when it's vertical, you want to. No, now you want to apply. Control J, which will duplicate. Control T. And change that to a diagonal. Now, see, so move that there. Now, apply the transform. Control J, Control T. Now, turn this one. So it's about there. Now, at the moment, that looks like a giant square, which is pretty deformed. But that's going to change as soon as I apply that. Um, you want to go on the first one, change that to, I think it's screen or lighten. It's probably lighten, actually. And then you go to the next one change that to lighten and the next one change that to lighten and the next one and change that to lighten now you should end up with like a flower kind of shape now this mine's kind of gone deformed a bit because 
yeah, it's just the phone, there's nothing I can do about that. But, um, that's basically what it should look like. Now you want to merge all them layers by holding control, clicking on each one, scroll, click, and then once you've done that, hit control E. Now they should all be merged, and next you want to go into filter, distort, I believe it's wave. And once you've got wave, you want to set it to these settings. 38, 85, 136, 1, 34, 100, 100. Sign, wrap around. And then hit OK. Now you should get something like that. Now once you've done that, I think you need to duplicate it one minute. OK, so yes, you do want to duplicate it. Hit Control J. Now go into Filter, Distort, and Twirl. Twirly really. And now you want to set it to Angle 336 and that to 100%. I'm not really sure if that matters, but yeah. And then hit OK. Now you should get something like that. Now we're nearly done now, just to make it the effect. Um, basically, what you're going to do is duplicate it quite a few times and rotate it and stuff. And I'll go through that. Okay, so now you want to set this to screen. And notice how it's brightened it up quite a bit. And now I'll just duplicate that. Control J. And now you want to control T, transform, and rotate. Now notice how it's getting quite nice. Now rotate it until you think it's looking alright for now. So that's all right for me. So I'm just going to apply. Now I'm going to hit control J again. And I'm going to rotate this one. Control T. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I had to zoom out in. So basically, you rotate this one as well. So you get quite a lot of sparkles in the middle. It's looking very. So you get what I mean, like, you basically just tweak with it until it looks okay for you. And just mess around with the settings a bit until it looks alright. Now once you've done that, you basically just want to merge them all. Control, 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 E. And now you want to hit Control, U. Now this is going to open up hue and saturation, tick colorize, now set this to whatever you want, any colour you want. Now I'm going to set this to the same colour as all the other ones, which is 50, and 202. That's a quite nice colour for me. And from there I think that's alright for me. Let's make it a bit wider. And so yeah, that's pretty much it today. And um, since I won't have time for schedule videos, and I probably will run out of ideas in the end, I am probably going to stop scheduled. I will release videos out very, like once or twice a week. But it depends on how much homework I've got piled up on myself and stuff. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you later. And remember, comment, thumbs, or subs. No, and subscribe. See ya.